Hey blissful friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl CC. On this platform, we explore the connection between your lifestyle, spirituality, and your financial life. On today's video, I wanna talk to my small business owners. Where you at, where you at? <laughs> As a small business owners, I know it can be a challenge. The struggle is real. Let's just be honest. In the beginning, it's never easy for a lot of us. If you are a small business owner, you know what I'm talking about. In the beginning, you know that it's gonna take some time for you to, especially if you are starting from like ground up, right? You have to find a way to get clients. You have to find a way to promote your business, to advertise, to marketing it. Some of the business owners that I, that I talk to, that I know, they are thinking, well, I want to start this business and I have 20 of my family members that I know that can easily buy my product. Ain't wrong. <laughs> now, as a business owner, you need to think of everyone. Not just say, well, I'm going to start this business. I have 20 of my family members that's going to buy my product. No. First of all, sometimes I feel like it's best to start with the world first. It's best to start promoting your business and social media and let people know that, hey, I am in the market, I'm, I'm selling or I'm buying, whatever it is. You gotta be able to find your social media niche, whether if it's Instagram or Facebook. I know people that don't really sell on Facebook they feel like the, their customers' niche is more like on Instagram, and that's where they post, that's where they sell their products, basically, right? So if you are a small business owner, and you know that there's so many hats that you carry, you have so many things that you, you become an octopus because you're reaching here and there and there and there and there, you all over the place, and you're constantly thinking. And I think as an entrepreneur, you have to constantly, constantly finding ways of improving your business, ways of marketing, ways of telling people, you got this, okay? You really have to put all your thoughts into action and find ways and get you a team of people that can help you um, take some hats off so you can find ways of, 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 of um, building a business more of um, bringing more customers. And listen, just because you have family members not supporting you, is not helping you promoting a business, doesn't mean you have to stop. You don't have to stop. First of all, you didn't start the business for them. You started the business for you. So you gotta be able to say, I'm pushing regardless if I have no help from no one, right? You gotta keep pushing because you are in charge. It's your baby. That's how I look at my business. My business, I feel like it's my baby. I gotta take care of them. And I know my husband is like right then and there with me. And we constantly finding ways to improve the process. We constantly thinking of finding ways to make it easier on the customers. You know, when they go into their portal and trying to find everything, we make it so much easier for them because even if it's working, we are thinking of, Okay, this is working fine, but if we do it this way, it's gonna be a lot easier. My husband is the type of person that, he is so tech, tech savvy. This man is like, okay, if we, listen, here's my husband. If we can find a way for me not to text the clients, we can find a way to just electronically send the text out to the clients. And I'm like, you, sir. And we did find a way to just text the client through a system. So that takes a time away from me to send out a blast email or a text because he finds this um, way of, of cutting back on me spending like either an hour to a hundred plus customers and now i use that time to do something else he's always looking for ways of improving the business and that's the way you should do it as a small business owners because you want that business to grow eventually the business will start 
processing on its own without you being behind it, right? I know people who don't really have to do much, everything else just, the system does everything. So you don't wanna be the one, you don't wanna be the machine. You gotta be able to say, I have a process that works for me, that does everything for me. I don't have to do anything. All I'm doing is just collecting my money. <laughs> I'm just getting my money and then my process, you know, my process is working for me and I don't have to do much work. So you need to start thinking of ways of growing your business. You need to start thinking of ways of improvement and get better and because that's the best way to go about. So just because you don't get the support does not mean your dream, you know, doesn't mean that your business is dead. Doesn't mean your business is not gonna grow just because 20 people don't support you. There's tons of people out there that's waiting for you to reach out to them. There's a tons of people out there that's watching you. So you just gotta be able to step outside of your comfort zone and be out there and let people know, hey, what's up? I do weddings, what's up? I'm a DJ, what's up? I sell this, what's up? I can help you with marketing your business, what's up? I do whatever it is. I do taxes, I do credit, I do financial services, whatever, that's my business by the way. So you gotta be able to step outside of your comfort zone and grow that business because the business will not grow itself. It's gonna take you and your team to grow that business. Whether it's you and two people or three people or four people, however many, listen, you get my meaning, you get what I'm trying to tell you. It's for you to be out there, grow that business, just because 20 people don't support you, 10 people don't support you, doesn't mean it's the end of life because you are passionate about your business, you are passionate about your baby, and you gotta make sure you grow that baby, right? You gotta take care of it. I'm there with you, okay? I'm here, go online, find all ways, whatever ways that you feel like. If you feel like something that's needed to get done, do it. Don't sleep on it, don't dwell on it. Just do it and get it done, okay? Get it done. Take less time on procrastinating on things and take more time so it's your business because that's what it needs and it's time and it's care and it's that, you know, that love because you gotta give your business, okay, okay business, you're doing pretty good but we can do better next month, right? We can do better, but now I gotta go find a way to make sure that we do it together. We do good next month. So you gotta find a way to do good. You gotta find a way to keep pushing and make your business becoming that thing, that, that, you know, that thing. And I trust in you, I count on you. I know you got this, you can do it. You just gotta find a time and put more time towards it and be more aggressive and stop letting fear get you not to where you wanna get to. So guys, thank you so much. And I am rooting for you as a small business owner. I'm here. If you want to reach out to me, my number will be below. I'll be more than happy to help you um, because we are helping our clients prioritize their schedule, their calendar, their, their in marketing and, and, and ways of advertising for their business because you need all of that. It's not just you do a post, you do this, and that's it. You got to find the time to marketing, your business, promoting your business, and we do all that in my company. So please take some time to take care of that business and do not let it die because you started for a reason and it can grow. You just gotta keep watering it and keep pushing. Go after that life, go after that dream, you got it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Remember to subscribe, like this video, and I upload every Wednesdays and Fridays. And my husband and I, we have our podcast, this podcast, every Saturday. So I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.